What's up YouTube? How the heck are you doing? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Jusifer and on this channel I talk about filmmaking and photography tips, tricks, and tutorials. And today's video is no exception because we are going to be talking about the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor. So I'm a huge fan of anything that will save me time while editing or make me faster and more productive in general while filmmaking. And this thing is no exception to that. So needless to say, I've had my eye on this thing for a while now because this is about two years old, but I finally decided to pull the trigger on it because I've been doing a lot more editing than usual lately and let me tell you guys spoiler alert Grant Petty and the team over at Black Magic Design have done it again because if it wasn't already love at first sight this thing is super awesome once you get one and you start using it so I want to talk about a few things that made me really fall in love with the DaVinci Resolve speed editor and some things that I think will actually make you like it as well so the first reason I love the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor is because of its size. And size plays a major role for me when I'm adding anything to my desk, whether it be consoles, keyboards, or peripherals, because if you can't tell from the video, I keep a pretty busy desk. You know, I love the thought of a minimalistic desk, but this is my workstation, it's my battle station, and having a minimalistic desk just isn't realistic for me when this is where I work. And not just the size, the weight, because I knew that as soon as I saw this, I'd want to use it with a MacBook, or even better, now using it with the iPad that creates an extremely versatile, yet portable editing workstation. Another reason I love the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor is the design and the feel. So like I said, it is small, and it is lightweight but it is not so lightweight where it feels cheap and it's not so lightweight where you're going to be able to move it around the desk as you're using it um, it is actually probably a bit rugged or feels a bit rugged I mean I wouldn't use it as a skate ramp and I wouldn't drop it on the concrete outside but it'll definitely withstand being bumped around in a bag or being bumped around on your desk while you're using it and another thing that I love about it is just the subtle design of it because it doesn't have any sort of over-the-top branding on it or any sort of backlight tackiness that makes it to where it won't fit in a professional editing suite or some professional environment if somebody sees this on your desk they're gonna be like holy crap that guy is serious about editing so when you look at this console there are 43 keys that are grouped together depending on their function some keys have double and triple functions depending on if you tap them double tap them or double tap them and hold them. The keys are clicky and feel mechanical just like my Keychron wireless keyboard. And last but definitely not least, the jog wheel. This thing is an engineering masterpiece and has no business being as good as it is at this price point. This thing is machined so freaking nicely and it spins so smoothly. I hope whoever designed this jog wheel got a freaking raise because, man, could do this all day. Could spin this wheel all day day long. So one of the most important reasons that I love the DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor is its usability. Now we've already talked about that it looks cool and it feels good, but is it worth the cost? So I'm going to say yes and no. I think it all depends on how much you're editing. So for me, it is a definite yes because I'm editing three to five days a week for this YouTube channel, for clients, and for films that I shoot. So like I said before, this thing speeds up my editing workflow in as much time as I can save, the better. So I think that if you edit more than like, let's say maybe once a week and you prefer using DaVinci Resolve over any other editing software, then I think that this is a definite buy for you. I also think that if you plan on editing in DaVinci strictly on the iPad, then this is a must buy because this really improves that entire process, especially if you're spending most of your time in the cut page. This makes the iPad for DaVinci an editing beast. So a few things that I love about this DaVinci Resolve Speed Editor is the battery life. Now my battery seems like it lasts forever. I've only had to charge it up a couple times after having it for a few weeks. And I also love that it has Bluetooth connectivity because again, I keep a busy desk. I have enough cords all over the place that I want to be able to not have this on a cord. It allows me to position this wherever I want on my desk. Hell, I can even put it in my lap and sit back and lean back in my computer chair and edit that way to get a little more comfortable. So when you honestly review anything, nothing comes without cons. And I will say the one con that I have that I have seen many other 
editors have as well is the wasted smooth cut key right here. No idea why they put it on there. I hope that guy did not get a raise. Uh, but so the smooth cut button right here is a transition specific key for a transition that uh, nobody really uses. And it's a transition you don't want to have to use. I mean, it is like a get out of jail free card, but it should be buried somewhere else among the keys or just in resolve. Um, I would have much rather seen like, uh, I don't know, something else there. Maybe a shortcut to the color panel, maybe a shortcut to the render page. Just something that I use more often. Maybe even something that is under one of these double tap modify keys on this console itself. It seems just like a wasted key. And so far, after using this thing for a couple weeks, every single day, that is the only con that I've seen. So that's it. I would say if you're on the fence about buying one of these, you should definitely go for it because you can always return it if you don't like. And I'm pretty certain that once you get the hang of this, this will speed up your editing workflow by at least two times. I believe my editing has sped up by probably four to five times just because I have all of these hotkeys and modifiers here that I'm not having to move my hands all around the desk or click all around the screen. And for me, time is money and it is the most important thing in my life. So how could I say no to anything that makes me more productive and saves me time? So one last disclaimer is I wasn't sent this. I bought it with my own money. I'm not affiliated or sponsored in any way by Blackmagic Design. I just really love this speed editor and I love Blackmagic products. So if you want one of these, head down to the link in the description and pick one up through that link because it will help me out here on this channel. As well as there's other links down there for some gnarly stuff. Hit up my website and get some free stuff while you're down there. As always, if you're getting value from these videos, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you like. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you don't miss any more killer content from the Drusifer channel. As always, guys, stay rad, just go shoot, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.